Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Gala is at a make or break point at the moment and we're going to talk about that. But before we really go into the lower level wave count here, let's take a look at the target, a possible target for the next all time high as per the Elliott wave method. So my understanding and my interpretation of this chart is, and that is the bullish interpretation. There's always a bearish one as well, but it doesn't you know, lead us anywhere because in the bearish interpretation, the coin would eventually die. So it doesn't really help. You know, you have to assume basically a coin will survive. Otherwise any TA is sort of pointless as well, right? Um, but the point here is that I that I try to make is that Gala um, moved up in five waves, which is an impulse back in November 21, and then came down in a very long wave two correction, did unfortunately drop below the 88.7% FIB level that is at roughly 9.9 .9 cents. It would be important for Gala to get back above that level because any coin, any asset that stays below that level for a longer period is sort of at increased risk of not recovering. Now I'm very clearly not telling you it won't recover. It just increases the risk. Okay, if we talk about risk, then some examples of coins that moved below that level and did recover after their first bear market are for example, ADA, also Solana, you know, these coins, they did drop eventually, um, or oh no, initially below that 88.7% FIP level. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to this. If we talk here about a coin, coin's first bear market, a lot of crypto projects do that. But I think it will be a sign of strength if Gala can recover from that and will move above 9.8 cents. That would be a very strong signal just generally. Um, but yeah, if we talk about the target for the next all time high, that would have to be a wave three. And if we talk about a wave three that would need to reach or that would reach, well, would need to reach at least $1.40, which is the 1.618 extension. And then, so we, what we normally get, we get a wave one here that's already done. The wave two is the current correction. A wave three would be the 1.618 extension, maybe a bit higher. Yeah, altcoins sometimes do this. And then there will be a shallow, a rather shallow wave four correction. And the wave five could take us to $2.40. So, I mean, that will take a while to play out, but it is sort of an orientation of where Gala might go in the next bull run, right? So that is, I think, quite interesting. But um, of course, you know, at the moment we are sort of still catching falling knives, even though we've now seen a temporary, um, yeah, reversal here, or at least some kind of a movement to the upside. But my point is Gala is at a make or break point here. And we take a look at that because in the short term, the um, we could assume, especially with the latest movement, that a bear market low was in here in May. We moved up from that low in a wave one to the upside. That was actually quite a strong move. That took us um, or move that 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 move generated three hundred fifty percent to the upside. That was a strong sign. However, we got rejected by exactly by this eighty eight point seven percent fib level. So. Again, while it was a very strong move, it wasn't strong enough to take us back above that level and hold it. So actually we just, all we did was to retest it from below, which then also led to further sell off here, all the way down to nearly breaking that low again. Um, but if we zoom in now, this is now where, where it counts because at the moment I can give it the benefit of the doubt. I can say this was a wave one. This here is a very long wave two correction because the move down isn't clearly impulsive. So it's rather an impulsive move up and a corrective move down. But it got really to the level where I said in one of the last videos, if it if it moves up or if it, let's say if it wants to have a chance, it needs to move up now. It shouldn't drop any lower because then you drop below that wave too low and you're sort of invalidating any possible impulse here. Now, luckily Gala did move up. It broke above the trend line I showed you in one of these videos. And that was the first signal that something is starting. And then we created here a wave one to the upside a wave two down, at least that's my interpretation. And now a wave three to the upside, which I think was only three waves so far. I would have, I have a difficult time to count this already as an impulse. Yeah. What we always want to look at, we always want to identify impulses, impulsive waves, because if you get an impulse also on the lower time frame, it indicates the trend has shifted from a downtrend into an uptrend. Now at the moment, this is only a three wave structure could very easily just be a pump and dump, you know, just sort of a bear market rally. 
Therefore, what I would like to see is five waves. Yeah, I talked about that on the <laughs> in the Dogecoin video as well. Dogecoin is, I think, now on the way to making these five. Yeah, it started to move. And that is exactly what Gala would need to do now. Yeah, if I count this as a one, two, three, this could be wave four. This is exactly the target area I gave you in one of the previous videos. That's the area we need to get into. Um, here between four and a half cents, basically. I don't know, it could be a bit higher, but it doesn't matter. Four and a half cents and the four point, well, 4.1 cent level. We are holding this at the moment. And this is really a make or break point. I don't want it to go below that because that would shed some serious doubt on this sort of bullish outlook here in the short term. Um, it would be important for Gala to deliver now five waves to the upside, make one wave up, one more wave to the upside. Um, target for that sort of in the region between 5.5 and 5.4, 5.6 cents. would need to do it, right? Um, with only three waves, it wouldn't give me a lot of confidence. But ultimately, if it breaks this level, then ultimately, yeah, because my wave count could be wrong. I mean, you know, we all make mistakes, right? So, but ultimately then, what would need to happen if we lose this 50% fib retracement? There is one more chance for it. Um, one more chance for it to hold the bullish potential which is then if i take the entire move this would need to be the 78.6 percent uh 78.6 percent fibonacci retracement so as long as it holds the three and a half cent level in then what i would then consider a possible wave two so in that we have done already five waves if i counted this wrong one two whatever three four five but it's not ideal um then this would be a wave two correction yeah, and this needs to hold the 78.6 retrace. If it doesn't, again, it will increase massively the likelihood of going below the June lows. So this is sort of what I look at. We're currently deep in support, deep in wave four support, and this needs to hold to make it really work to the upside. Yeah, in, in an ideal pattern. And we always look for ideal patterns because they give confidence, they give trust. Um, so yeah, ideally, um, we move up now. We are just above the yellow line here, which is the 50 day moving average. Where are we here? Where is the, uh, da, 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 da. we're just above the 50 day moving average. There it is. Yeah, we can also take a look at where we are with a 20 day moving average. That might give us some indication as well. So with regards to the 20, that is much lower, but the 20 day moving average down here is exactly where the 78.6% retrace is. So um, another possible support level down there, right? And let's take a look at the EMA ribbon. Where are we with the EMA ribbon? The EMA ribbon on the four hour is actually creating support. So this is something um, to consider because we are above the EMA ribbon. There was a long signal, by the way, down here. Yeah, <laughs> I think this indicator smashed it with this signal. Um, of course, it doesn't always work out. Of course not. Um, and the eight hour as well. Yeah, above it. There was a long signal here, a bit too late on the eight hour. Again, this is just an indicator on trading view, um, but it's useful to see where are the EMAs and are they actually generating support? Are they creating support or resistance? And at the moment also on the daily, we are just above the EMA ribbon. So all of that is generating support. So I think, you know, there's a good chance it finds support here and moves up, but at the moment there is no evidence for it. Really good signal would be now to break above this yellow box. Yeah, that would be a really strong signal. And then to take out the four point one a 4.9 cent level and then move to something around five and a half cents to finish off wave five of one and then the next retracement yeah in wave two this is what will tell us everything yeah because this larger wave two retracement then needs to hold this 78.6 retrace which will be sort of the, the next decision moment and the next make or break point for gala Okay, that's my update about Gala. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.